My name is Sarah Laira Magabo and I'm a fourth year HD student here at Swansea University. I've recently been doing much work on investigating paint misses, which is a main defect encountered at the colour coating line at Tata. What I've managed to do is um, uh, show my work to Tata, but also uh, involve the stakeholders involved, such as Axon Nobel. So we share data with different companies to see that we can eradicate or get rid of some of the defects that are encountered. So my work is not just Tata related, but also uh, the paint suppliers related. So in a way, it's very, it's a broad kind of piece of work that's helping not just one company, but the others who are involved in the coating process. As I mentioned earlier on, I am investigating paint misses, which is a major defect encountered at Tata. So this defect, uh, we're looking at it from the rheological perspective. But not just the rheology, but also the chemical analysis part of it. That means I get to use the SEM, look at the EDX, but also do the thermal analysis as well. I also get to do some computational fluid dynamics work as well to see if I can relate the rheological properties of the paints I've obtained from Tata but also the model fluids to the operating parameters. But not just that, I get to also test run uh, the roller coaster rig with different paints to see again the physical implication of the rheological properties and also paint formulations to the application or the performance of these paints on the roller coating rig. Uh, I've been investigating paint misses using from a sleep point of view. By sleep I mean as you hear the name, so the paint doesn't adhere to the moving plate. In the field of, um, in industrial cases, the roller coat, the pickup process of this roller coater within the coating bath. So if you have a, a poor adhesion of the paint on the roller coater, it can be picked up from the uh, bath and then applied onto the applicator roll and onto the uh, steel itself we're trying to apply the paint on. But for us to understand what goes on in industry, we try, to, we try to measure these properties using a rheometer. I then measure sleep by varying gap sizes of the rotating geometry. In my case, it's a parallel plate. So the parallel plate is moving, but I have a stationary pelt here. So I, ideally, I, don't want a, I want a no slip boundary condition, but that isn't the case. And often, we have to measure such uh, deviations from mostly boundary condition using a rheometer. So ideally, if I change the gap size and do a shear stress ramp, I shouldn't have a change in viscosity. But if I get a change in viscosity, that, that means my material does slip. I uh, also get information such as shear rate. From the shear rate, I can uh, draw a curve of shear rate versus inverse curve to determine the uh, slip velocity, which means the top layer, the speed at which it's moving. Uh, and then from there, I can determine slip length, which tells us if we have an apparent slip in the negative direction or apparent wall slip in the positive direction. From then, I can determine the slip layer thickness, which I then use to determine the uh, relative slip contribution to the total flow. The higher the relative slip contribution, that means my material slips more, which means then I have issues such as paint misses when you go to the cutting line.